Continuamos con la oración del encuentro del entrenador de Dallas Andrews. Let me first of all congratulations to Coach Castillo and and his team. Uh, I thought it was a, a, a tough way to lose the game as we did. Uh, I thought we competed. I thought we played very good in the first half, uh, especially the first quarter. Uh, and then as the game went on, uh, I think their intensity started to raise and uh, they started to play better defense and it forced us into to making poor decisions uh, as the game went on uh, uh, for the next two quarters. I think the fourth quarter they were just more dominant on the defensive side. That was the biggest thing that, that helped them to get out and get some Ooh. easier looks. <laughs> Power surge. <laughs> <laughs> Very nice. Okay. Now we continue. Uh, no problem. First time for everything. Uh, I also thought the the offensive rebounds that they were able to get, and they beat us 16 to three on the offensive side. Offensive rebounds was key for them. I think it kept them in the game in the first half, and they were struggling to score. They didn't have their rhythm yet. And then I thought in the second half they got key offensive rebounds when the game was uh, changing tides that uh, we got to stop and they were able to get the offensive rebound and get a put back. Uh, so you, you got to do a better job in that. Uh, you, you can't play against a very high level team uh, and have a close game and then you, you give up 16 offensive rebounds. That's too many. Any question? Any question? Can you tell me, Jota? Yes. The little error of the defender of David Holston was crucial for the loss of this game. David Oh, for sure. Uh, I think uh, Bellis and uh, Oliver did a good job pressuring him and, and taking him out of his rhythm from the very beginning of the game. And I thought down the stretch, uh, they forced him into some poor decision making, uh, they forced turnovers. But I mean, uh, those two guys, especially Bellis, is uh, probably one of the better defending point guards in our group right now. And uh, they did a good job on him. Sí, que Tomás Bella es uno de los mejores bases defensivos de, de este grupo, ¿no? del de grupo Eurocap, y ha hecho un gran trabajo presionando en todo el campo y forzando pérdida de balón a, a Holston y, y no le ha podido hacer su juego. ¿Qué, qué le ha parecido el Gran Canaria Arena como pabellón, como centro deportivo? Oh, I mean, I've been here before to the, the older arena, and I think this is a very nice arena. Uh, I think you guys, this is the first year, first season. First come. First season of having this, and I think it's an excellent arena. Uh, it's very big. I mean, actually, too big for Germany, <laughs> but it's a big, nice arena. Uh, great floor, great baskets. Things a good atmosphere for basketball. Sí, que ves está en el centro insular, pero que que este pabellón es totalmente distinto, ¿no? El, el los aros, el suelo, todo se ve distinto porque porque una instalación bastante bastante bonita para jugar baloncesto. ¿Alguna cuestión? Thank you. Okay, thank you.